Alright guys, and we are back with more Final Fantasy 16 while we left off. And uh, we need to talk to Joshua. And um, yeah, that's the bro. Joshua, I read your message. And you're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different. But since we returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. <clears throat> to let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. <laughs> it was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say... He was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. <coughs> no, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in Southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. Right. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? <laughs> Alright, so before we do that, we also got my girl, Isabel. So let's go see her real quick. A fortress? The garrison is threatening to pull their sentries from the market. I would speak with this duke. I saw the captain just now. Mm. Saw the captain just now. He wasn't wearing his uniform. Right? Do you have a moment, Clive? What is it? It's the duke, unsurprisingly. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Of course. Whatever you need. <coughs> Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? <coughs> Here, my lady. To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? My name is Sabine. Oh, wow. And it is my displeasure to be the daughter of the Duke of Oriflam. Who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of... Oh, that's his daughter. I wish that was his to you about what might be done. Very well. It's his daughter. Speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please, proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yet I fear he is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. Mm. And who would make him do this? You. I would. Oh. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Mm. Does that not seem a trifle? Drastic. Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. 
Yet my father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <clears throat> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope. I assure you. <laughs> False I, your mind up, I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy. I bid you good day. She certainly has spirit. Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action together. What does the dame have to say about all this? So you are content to abandon the... Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly what I am doing, milady. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? <coughs> Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. Damn. She cornered you too, then? Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the Dane to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. Okay. They're back. <sighs> seems that way. All over, too. I'm not able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. Thank you, Clyde. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. Good girl. Faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn it. The reports were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
Curing. That's what I'm wondering. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. Are you all right? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, there's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. Mm. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? <coughs> Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. Yeah. Now, you head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. What do you mean? Why? Right. Should say that. ship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Oh. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have a marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the dame was afraid of. Right, she does care about to the city. Down. Be careful out there, all right? <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not like you. One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. <laughs> I'm screaming blue murder. <laughs> See, father, the people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country? Hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword. How will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbreck, just as Great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could? Father, but we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, 
Let us not quarrel in the street. <coughs> you must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. Right. You will hold your tongue, whore. You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Right. You ain't doing shit. Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. Yeah, you don't listen to At least I hope says. they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. That's what Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Oh. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a branded. Oh. Jealous, are you? Mm. That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Griga. Oh. I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Mm. Oh, fuck you. There's no work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. And none of your knights can fight. We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Yeah, sorry. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. <coughs> protect those that we love. Together for North Reach. Mm. So it's my time. Okay. Well, Fuck you, Angel. Pikemen to the gates, archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on. Out with it. I don't know why you fuck with you. But she is but a common whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. The men have their orders, and they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Whichever direction the thralls strike from, there'll be someone there to meet them. Thank you, Philippe. Rest assured, the people will play their part. The herbalist has donated her stock of medicines to me. Should any of your men be injured, take them to the Vale. We'll see to them there. Thank you, my lady. I will. I'll play my part too. You still want for numbers? Unlike the enemy, I only hope I can go some way to evening the odds. Philippe, can I leave the south in your hands? I doubt the thralls by the lake were the last of their number. Of course. I'll lead a party down that way so we don't get taken by surprise. What about you? I'll make my way up the road to Oriflam. I fought a few of these things. And while I can't promise to hold them all back, I should be able to thin the herd. All right, but take care. Thank you, both of you. You can thank us when it's over. Till then, madame. Let's do it. How's everybody doing today?
Or use this tower advantage. I didn't expect them to go that fast. Mm -hmm. That looks to be the last of them. I wonder how the others fared. Better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. Good to see you. And you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives down by the lake. Took a few nicks, but nothing the girls of the Vale can't put right. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, it seems we've survived. For the time being, at least. I thank you both for answering the call. You were right. And I was wrong. About everything. I had thought that the only way to unite the people was under the banner of Empire. That without a strong hand to guide them, they would drift apart. To be borne hither and yon by the eddying currents of fate. But you brought them together. 
Not by force. Nor by the exercise of goddess-given authority. But by simply being one of them. By knowing what they feel. Because you feel it yourself. Our purpose was ever the same, Your Eminence. You were merely distracted by a loftier vision of empire and glory, while our eyes beheld matters closer to home. You have the right of it again, as did you, Sabine. His Radiance said it himself. Sandbrek is naught without her citizens. I forgot that, and I am sorry. I'm sorry too, Father. I should never have taken things so far. I only wanted you to understand how the people felt. How I felt. But my anger got the better of me. Do not blame yourself, my dear. This was my doing. I should have listened to you. To all of you. Your Eminence. Your Ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. But I believe the same could be said of us all. We all want safety, security, prosperity. Not just for Northreach, but for the entire realm. And we may yet achieve it. If only we work together. Will you join us in this? Yes. We shall. Thank you, Your Eminence. Now that that is settled, I must go and see to the wounded. The Veil's doors are always open to any soldier in need of relief. And today there are more than ever before. Madam Isabel is a rare soul indeed. In these dark times, I see that it is not men like me who should lead the realm. But women like her. You're right. If only I'd listened to her when I had the chance. Forgive me for saying so, my lady. But you still do. The dame said it herself. We can turn things around. We just have to work together. And that goes for you, too. <laughs> One of us now. One of you? Well said, Captain. Let this be a new beginning. Not only for Sandbreck, but for us. Well, since there's nothing more to be done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help moving the wounded. Can we get you anything? There's no need to worry any longer. I saw several soldiers being carried to the Vale. How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'd be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it would help. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. After all you've done for this town, it is the very least you deserve. Tell me. If Northreach had fallen, what would you have done? A woman of your means could find a home anywhere in the realm, but I sense you would rather have died here. It's a long story. For you, madame, I have all the time in the world. <sighs> Very well. Long ago, I had a life in the Crystalline Dominion. I was Carla then, courtesan to the nobility. So sought after was I that it was only they who could afford my time. Alas, those halcyon days were not to last. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. He was my master's guard, the gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, 
he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. And so we fled. Not that we had anywhere to flee to. We wandered, aimless and starving, half dreading, half praying that the next day would be our last. Until we found ourselves here, in Northreach. It was the veil that took us in, that fed us, clothed us, and healed our hurts. Those that could be healed, at least. My love was already too far gone. He passed away. He did. Not long after we arrived. Damn. But at least we were able to share a few moments of peace before the end. It was the greatest gift I have ever received. But the generosity of this town and her people did not end there. The men and women of the Vale supported me through my grief. Shared in it. Though I was still a stranger to them. They treated me like a sister. And so I swore that I would always do the same. That I would return the kindness that Northreach showed me. That I would repay my debt to the Vale. Thank you, Isabel. For sharing this with me. <laughs> You're a lot like him, you know. Perhaps that is why I have such a soft spot for you. Never stop fighting, Clive. And I shan't either. I know that it will not be easy to keep Northreach together. But our efforts will be rewarded. Just look at us now. The people, the soldiers, even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter, all united in defense of this town that we have come to call our home. And what of you? Can we count on your support too? Always. Ow! I think, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Ooh! Another piece of work, Calvin. Holy. And they opened up my mind. Mm. Oh, yeah. We have brought Northreach together. Now the fight begins to keep her together. For if this town is to survive, we must all play our part. Including you, Clive. Nah, Isabel's a good looking. She's a. Uh... <laughs> She look good. But like I said, that author showed her shit, bro. Like, oh my god. And like, Tekken 8 and just released the fact that they brought the presets back and stuff. And lately he's got this outfit where it's like off the shoulder. Really already looked good in Tekken 8. But god damn. They wildin'. They wildin' with that off the shoulder shit. I've never been here before. This is the place, but... Damn. Days is a gun. I'm sorry, Clive. Uh -huh. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. Knew of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Our boy, someone in the backyard. Hippocrates. To the hideaway, then. Oh, the f the guy that does the flowers. Yeah, him too. Yeah, the guy that does the flowers, and since. The quest is like on the way of that. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna turn this quest in. Mm -hmm. 
Adventures in Ash. Mm. Oh, heard he's I hear that you mm. traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. I may. The bearer registry. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning. Never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? <clears throat> it's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Honor their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you, Sid. I'm going to write a book, an account of the horrors of Badbach, and the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering, and in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity, were it not for you. Thank you. Do you suppose it's magic keeping the thing afloat? What else could it be? brings you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. <laughs> uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. 
Off we go then. Alright, so we're gonna do this quest and then we are probably going to end the episode here. More than likely. Things didn't fight like that. The Duke has with pledged to time. work with the people. Good girl. Run like the wind. safe. It takes so long. All right. Bro. He's kicking my ass.
A stem down there. How do I get down there? Get him! 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 Get him!
system. Are you serious? Expected. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? Mm. She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? to show you there is and where might this something be it's uh, not here now I know this is sudden but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam So many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or. Oh. Tried to. <laughs> How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. Mm. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. Of course. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling.
before she met her okay, the morning after the storm. Do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tall. And from there I saw a sea of petals all reaching for the sun. And I realized that no matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have again and again. Where do you see us when all this is over? Everything we've been through. The realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then. That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. So many thumbnails are together. The flowers, the yeah. everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Damn, there it is. But nah, that is just not what it's clean. It's gonna be a shot where, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Diamond does cool down. Oh, he ain't gonna cap everyone. But, um, oh wow. So, my thing is, how do you control that? Can you control that or what? Because, like, between Joshua and Jill, I don't know. I don't know who I like better. I ain't gonna lie. Jill does heal, though. For whatever reason. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here because it's our destination. And, um, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, but until then, I'll catch you guys later for more Final Fantasy 16.